Hi, my name is Greg Sawicki. I'm an assistant professor in biomedical engineering at NC State University. And I study wearable robots. So I have an example of a wearable robot in my hands right here. It's, it's kind of like an exoskeleton. If you've seen the movie Iron Man, it's um, sort of a scaled down version of what Iron Man is attempting to do. And we build these to help people relearn to walk after spinal cord injury or stroke. There's a carbon fiber frame that, that is uh, attached to a hinge joint and then we mount all that to a normal sneaker. So you wear this kind of like a shoe or a boot. And um, what the interesting thing we can do is we can add a, uh, a spring or a pneumatic muscle, an artificial muscle, to the back of the exoskeleton. And then we can make that artificial muscle mimic the behavior of one of your normal muscles. And so one thing we try to do in, in my laboratory is um, take the electrical activity from the nervous system that would normally create a contraction in, in the muscles of your legs and reroute that to an artificial muscle tendon unit, which I have here in the testing rig. And when we do that, then we can attach these muscle tendon units to exoskeletons or prosthetic limbs. And so we can actually power artificial devices that you can wear on your lower limb with your brain and spinal cord's own electrical activity. And trigonometry is a key area in mathematics that helps us do that. I can uh, imagine angles between the foot and, and the upper leg. And those angles are related to the length uh, of the muscle or the tendon, in this case a spring, is related to the length and the change in length uh, between the attachment points. Same way as in your normal anatomy. If we know the angle that your ankle makes, and we know the fixed link lengths of your leg and, and the attachment points of your muscles around your ankle, we can calculate what the length of the muscle tendon unit inside your body is at all times. And then we can try to build artificial devices that match those lengths. The math is an, an incredible tool that we use as engineers. And that's only the, the beginning uh, trigonometry. There's a lot of higher level math that involving differential equations and controls engineering um, that you get to later on that becomes essential for building robots like this that can link to a person's nervous system.